hardest part about being an inmate here is uh, you can't go home. You live here, they're gonna go in, they're gonna eat supper, they're gonna go to bed, they're gonna get up, do it again tomorrow. In prison, it is the head warden who is responsible for every critical decision. Prison is in better shape every year. It's a beautiful place, it's a beautiful prison. You know, when you look out across, who would ever think you'd say a beautiful prison? For over a decade at Angola, that role has belonged to Warden Burl Kane. It's like a big plantation in days gone by. We hate to call it that in a way, but it kind of is because we have the, you know, the, it's inmate in prison. It costs about $10,000 a day to feed the people at Angola. Every day, the sun comes up, put $10,000 in the, in the cash register to buy the food to feed Angola. Our toilet paper bill at Angola is $51,000 a year for toilet paper. OK, did it take four of y'all to hold him? None of his responsibilities carry greater consequence than the oversight of executions. Could you find a vein with, him with that much pressure on him? There have been six executions during Warden Kane's tenure. It would be difficult, wouldn't it? Old age and illness, the real concerns of men with life sentences, have caused the deaths of 412 others in the same period. OK, you take care. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your family, right. too. OK, uh, see you later. All right. How much time you have? Well, you know, I had 75 years. I've been locked up 25 years on that. I'm eligible for parole. I'm eligible now? Yes. Good luck. Okay. You have 50 to go if you don't. You get a little drain. Yeah. <laughs>